It's snowing so hard today. It's almost time for the Mont France trip. And I'm worried if the snow will melt by then. Emily, I'm sorry to say that the snow probably won't melt. It's this cold, and the weather forecast says it will snow heavily on the day of the trip. Oh, really? That's tough. We need to at least do something about the snow around my house. Una, please shovel the snow around my house. Huh? Why do I have to do that? What? Are you defying me? I'm the boss mom. Regular moms listen to what the boss mom says. This is common sense around the world, is it not? I've never heard of such common sense before. I bet everyone is busy shoveling the snow around their own house. So why don't you take care of your own house, Emily? Wait. Are you really going against the boss mom who's superior to you? Just so you know, we don't have a shovel at home. We don't have a place to store such a big thing, even if we bought one. You can just put it somewhere inside the house. You're so annoying. You have a detached house with a shed in the backyard, so it might work for you. But we live in an apartment. We don't have room to store such a big item. Is it really that hard to find a place to put a shovel? You're so annoying. Anyway, I'm the boss mom, so if you just faithfully do as I say, that's good enough. Even if you say that, we have our own circumstances here, and I don't even understand what boss mom means. It's not like you've done anything for us. What are you talking about? Who do you think reserves the place for our regular mom friends meetups? It's Smith, not you, Emily. You're so dumb. Who do you think gives the orders to Smith? It's me, the boss mom who does that. What do you mean? Smith usually decides where the mom friends meet up places are going to be, but she has no taste. So I, as boss mom, go out of my way to help Smith, who doesn't have any sense of style by choosing the place for her. Hey, what do you mean? But Smith is doing all the booking and stuff. Of course. As the boss mom, I wouldn't bother making reservations myself. I've been putting all the hassle on Smith, but recently I've noticed that the taste in restaurants chosen has changed. I was thinking that her sense of style has changed, but it turns out you were meddling in things unnecessarily. What do you mean by unnecessarily? But I actually like Smith's taste better. The other mom said the same thing too. The cafe Smith found for us used to have delicious food and the best lunches. But one day, they started serving greasy and heavy dishes, and the coffee started to taste bland and flavorless. The restaurants chosen became less enjoyable for everyone. I'm sure that's because you started choosing them. What? Are you saying I have bad taste? I wouldn't go as far as to say that, but maybe it's more reassuring to leave some things to Smith. Shut up. I never thought I'd be humiliated like this. I can't believe you would make such a rude remark to me here. But I was surprised when Smith's taste suddenly changed. That makes sense, considering you were the one pulling the strings behind the scenes. You're so annoying. I'm already angry. All the disrespect you showed me? Don't you think you can still come on the mom's trip after this? I'll punish you myself. What? Punishments? Don't do anything crazy. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. It's said that committing violence can result in charges of assault or causing injury, right? I know a police officer, so I'm familiar with that kind of thing. Violence isn't the only crime. If you harass me in any way, you could be charged with a crime for that too. That's okay. I know which ones are crimes and which are not. Are you sure? It's making me anxious. Sometime later. Hey Emily, I went to the shed to get a shovel. You locked me in from the outside, didn't you? Oh, did you hear me and find out? But it's your own fault, isn't it? You always say rude things to me. 
It's cold in the shed, isn't it? You're going to miss a trip with our mom friends because of this. You took advantage of me because I'm the boss mom. This is your punishment. I'm a police officer. Are you ready for this? What? You're lying, right? I'm not lying. How dare you do this to me? I told you, didn't I? Didn't I tell you that violence is not the only crime? First of all, you illegally trespass on my property, which is a crime of breaking and entering. And then you locked me in the shed without my consent, which constitutes the crime of confinement. Confinement? You mean you can be charged with that just for doing this kind of thing? Wait a minute. I'll ask my acquaintance who is a police officer about it. There's no need to confirm anything. I'm a police officer too, you know? Right now? My husband is not at home, so unfortunately, he can't come and help me. But I've left a message to see if someone can leave their work and come help me escape. Hey, hey, hey. You're not allowed to leave from there. You can't come on this trip. I don't want you to go anymore. Just the thought of being on a mom's trip with you makes me uncomfortable. Well, if that's the case, there's no need for you to leave the shed then. You should reflect on your actions while there today. Reflect on what? What do I have to reflect on? About you defying me, the boss mom. You went as far as to harass me to this extent, so that's why I locked you in the shed. I can't believe you would go so far just for that. It's unreasonable. Besides, I've been in this place all day. If I spend the whole day in a place like this, I'll freeze to death by tomorrow, you know? If that happens, I think you'll be charged with murder, too. Murder? That's a bit too much, don't you think? If it was just an accident that it happened, then it's not my fault. Your fingerprints are probably all over the shed. It's unlikely that I'd enter the shed and lock myself in there all by myself. And since I'm asking my husband for help, I'm sure the police will investigate if someone locked me in there. And you'll be the first one they'll suspect. Since you're the one who left the fingerprints in the shed. I mean, I just didn't want to bring you on the mom friend's trip. That's all. Why do you have to accuse me of murder and stuff? Isn't it because what you're doing is inherently criminal? Well, I can't just die here either. I have to find a way to escape. I understand. You can't just get out of there. I don't want you to come on the mom friend's trip. I want to enjoy this trip without you, okay? Ah, uh, it's fine. Let's just leave it at that. But I wonder if the other moms might find it suspicious that I'm not there. I'll just explain that you can't get out of bed because of all the cold and snow around here. You really think people are going to believe that? I mean, it's not like I'm a child who can't get out of bed because it's too cold. I mean, it's unlikely that something like this would happen on a day when we're traveling, though. Is that so? Well, if it were me, I'd say I'm skipping because I don't want to leave the house when it's too cold. Oh, right. Well, I'm not interested in your story anyway. Anyway, you're not coming on the trip. I let the other moms know what's going on as I see fit, okay? I got it. Do as you like, but it's been about five minutes after the meeting time, right? Has everyone gathered? Of course, everyone is supposed to be here. But they're not. What? No one's at the meeting place except for me. Oh my, that's not good. Wait, what does this mean? Did you do something? Why are you suddenly so suspicious of me? Well, you seem like you might know something. What happened to the other moms? Well, let me tell you. The other moms are all on their way here to help me. They're on their way to my house. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? What's going on? All the other moms are so worried about me when I told them I was locked in the shed. They all said they'd come help me. Wait a minute. I thought you asked your husband for help just now. My husband is still very busy at work, so I asked the other mom friends to come help me. Wait a minute. You're changing the person you're asking for help from so easily. 
Why? It's not like I'm bothering you. You're kidding me. I was supposed to be on a trip with everyone, but you interrupted that. You're stealing my friends. If you wanted to go on the trip so badly, then you should go by yourself. Are you kidding me? I can't do such a lonely thing. But after everyone helps me, I plan to go on the trip with everyone. What are you talking about? Everyone is going on a trip with me. You're the only one who will be staying behind. Did you forget what I said earlier? I already told you that I'm not going on a trip with you anymore. That means I'm going on a trip with all the other mom friends except for you. What? What? When I explained the situation to all of the mom friends, they all said they wouldn't hang out with you anymore. So we decided not to take you on the trip anymore. You say it's been decided, but what kind of decision are you making when no one else is around? Well, I guess it can't be helped. You've done such terrible things. Well, locking you in the shed might have been a bit too much, I suppose. But don't point out a single mistake and then denigrate me for it. Oh, who said it was only a single mistake? You've done other terrible things besides this, haven't you? What? What are you talking about? Acting innocent won't help you. I heard it from the other moms, you know. That you were being equally rude to them. On one occasion, you went to Smith's house without permission and crashed her barbecue. On another occasion, you went to William's house without permission and blabbed on about yourself until her husband returned. Thanks to that, Williams was unable to get the chores she wanted to get done before her husband came home. Oh, they're sneaking around talking behind people's backs. People talk behind your back because you've been doing terrible things to people. You're entirely at fault, so reflect on your own actions. Hey, shut up. Aren't you the only one who's secretly trying to gather more allies? Don't you feel ashamed for trying to mistreat someone all by yourself? I don't feel ashamed at all. I'm not trying to commit any crimes. Everything you've done so far has been a crime. Who do you think has the better case? What? What? Is that a threat? Is it okay for a police officer to make threats or something? Oh, I didn't mean to threaten you. I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. Don't you think it's time to give up? Frankly, I don't think you're in a position to be traveling anymore. What? What do you mean? Apparently, Johnson has said that she's seen you shoplifting at the supermarket a few times. We won't know for sure until we confirm with the supermarket. But if it's true, then it would also involve a charge of theft. What? Johnson? That woman? So, does that mean the fact that you're angry confirms that you actually did shoplift at the supermarket? Is that true? No, I haven't done anything like that. Johnson is making things up. Should we confirm with the supermarket then? Have there been any recent cases of shoplifting? Did the security cameras catch anyone suspicious? Wait, please don't do that. It's not true. I just really wanted some expensive meat, but it's hard to afford meat on my husband's salary. I couldn't help but indulge myself every once in a while. No matter what your circumstance is, the supermarket is still a business, you know? Can you really put the supermarket's business at risk just for your own convenience? But I thought it would be okay just once. Johnson said that she's seen you shoplift at least three times. It's a problem that the supermarket hasn't caught you yet, but what's even more of a problem is that you keep doing it because you haven't been caught. I understand. I won't do it again. I'm sorry. Is that enough? Please don't say mean things to me anymore, okay? Unfortunately, just saying you're going to reflect on it doesn't really count as reflection. It seems like I need to make you reflect a little more. I... I have reflected already, you know. Please don't do anything worse to me. No. As a police officer, I can't just overlook your wrongdoings. Oh, and another mom friend just helped me out. 
It seems like you were holding the storage door closed from the outside with a clothesline. No wonder I couldn't get out. What? Did you really escape? You should have stayed inside the shed. I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. You still need to reflect on your actions. Wait a minute. Before we talk about that, let's go on the trip like we planned. Oh, what's the rush? I thought you didn't want to travel with me. That's not true. I've been looking forward to traveling with you for a long time. Hmm, I see. Well then, let's enjoy the trip together. Did you really think I was going to say that? You're just trying to appease me and prevent this from becoming a police matter, aren't you? No, Luna. It's not like that. I'm really looking forward to our trip together. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't need that kind of thing anymore. For now, let's cancel today's trip. We've decided to reschedule and go on a trip together another day. Today, I intend to uncover all of your wrongdoings. Uncover all of my wrongdoings? Stop talking like I'm some sort of a super villain. I don't think of you as a big villain or anything like that. You're more like a little troublemaker. That's because the things you do are petty and small, each and every one of them. What's that supposed to mean? Stop talking bad about me in this situation. Well, no matter how small each bad thing is, as long as there are people who are sad because of your actions, I can't just let it go. To help those in need is why I became a police officer. Uh, officer? There's someone here who's in trouble. Please help them. Are you saying that as a joke? If you are, it's not funny at all, so you should stop. No, I'm not joking. I really want you to help. In a situation like this, I can't be making jokes, can I? If that's the case, then you, the perpetrator, shouldn't expect me to help you. Don't you think it's a bit too presumptuous to ask for my help when you've caused all this trouble? Please don't say that. Aren't the police supposed to be on the side of people in need? If that's the case, then please help me right now. I told you, I don't want to. For now, why don't you go home and curl up in your bed or something and tremble? There's no way for you to get out of this, you know? Why are you saying that? I don't want to get caught. Please, just forgive me. Afterwards, even though Emily kept making excuses, neither I nor the other mom friends forgave her, and she ended up being taken away. None of the mom friends were willing to negotiate a settlement with Emily. Emily was sentenced to jail time. Now she is spending her days locked up in a narrow cell, reflecting on what she has done. The other moms thanked me for the peace of mind they gained from Emily's absence. I think it's rewarding to have citizens thank me for this job. We were able to schedule our trip for a later date and enjoy the trip together. Lucy, can you stay away from my child from now on? You know what, don't you? Huh? Did something happen between your child and mine? You work in the nightlife industry, don't you? It's unclean. Please stop because it's not good for the children's education. Well, I understand that my job isn't well understood. I am very aware of that. As I recall, your child and my son are in different classes. I don't think there's anything in particular that you need to worry about, so please be rest assured. You wouldn't like it if something happened, right? I came to warn you. I see. By the way, why are you working in such a place? Actually, my mother is in debt and I'm working at a bar to pay it off. Huh. Debt. Did she gamble or give money to a man? No, it's a debt for living expenses. My mother can no longer work, so I'm working in her place to pay off the debt. Hmm. Huh. It sounds like your family is done for. Maybe. I don't know. Doing not work just to pay off debt is the worst. It's a bottom of the barrel job. I don't understand why you choose that kind of work. Well, everyone has their own way of thinking, so I don't mind. Fine, just don't involve my child in any way. 
If you do, I won't stand for it. Understood. I'm working at a convenience store during the day and a bar at night to pay off my mother's debt. I've been trying to keep this job as low-key as possible, but it seems that some of the patrons were parents and it got around to the other adults. Ellie told me to stay away from her child, but everyone else is still treating me normally, so I feel a bit relieved. Hey you! Why are you in the same WhatsApp group with my other mom friends? Oh, you're in the same WhatsApp group too? Yes, you can tell by looking at the members. I didn't realize it until you mentioned it. Why is a classless person like you in the same group? I'd rather you stay out of it. I'm good friends with most of the members in the WhatsApp group. So Emma from the mom group told me to join the group because she had created it. She's good friends with you. Don't make me laugh. That's just superficial relationship, of course. Is that so? Yes, it is. Nobody wants to be friends with a mom who works nights. You may think that, but everyone else seems to think differently, though. Who is everyone? Answer me specifically. Can you do it? Emma, Evelyn, Sophia, Mila, all the moms from the group. So you're saying that they're all just superficial friends? How do you know that? It should be clear if you just think about it normally. Do you need someone to explicitly say the opposite for it to make sense? Who is everyone? All the moms who go to the park, of course. We can't give specific names. Anyway, can you leave the WhatsApp group as soon as possible? I hate being in a group with the filthy people like you. I just joined and I don't want to leave. Oh yeah, you're too cocky to listen to me. If that's what you want to do, it's fine by me. I also have some tricks up my sleeves, you know. What is it? I could start a new WhatsApp group without you. I see. You're very smart. I know, right? I definitely won't invite you. Hey, you're on your own. Feel free to do as you please. Ellie seemed to be bothered by me joining the group chat, so she actually made a separate one. But other moms in the group invited me to their chat anyway. Ellie, who wanted to exclude me, wasn't having much success with her strategy and was getting frustrated. Then one day, rumors started to circulate among the mom friends. Have you heard too? About what? The rumor. Don't you know that someone is cheating? Oh, I heard that, but I'm not interested. Aren't you the person the rumor is referring to? What? You work at night, don't you? You got drunk and ended up having that kind of relationship with a wealthy old man despite having a husband, right? That's not true. It's not me. Don't lie. It couldn't be anyone else but you. It's already become a rumor, so just admit it quietly, okay? I have no idea about it. It's not that kind of establishment. Besides, that's just a rumor. We don't know if it's true or not. You don't know if it's true or not. You know with the smoke, this fire, there must be a reason for the rumor. And that reason is me? You're the only one I can think of. You meet lots of guys who are customers at the bar every night, right? It's not for the purpose of cheating and we don't do anything together. I'm working to pay off a debt. I don't know. Maybe it's not for paying off debts, but for finding a richer man than your husband, right? That's not true at all. Oh my, you're getting agitated. You're denying it because it hit the nail on the head, right? What are you talking about? I can't tell even through the screen that you're panicking. No, I'm calm. I'll tell everyone that you're the one who did it. Please stop saying nonsense. What's nonsense? It's the truth. You shouldn't cheat. I'll do the right thing and tell everyone. Do you have any evidence that I'm cheating? Bingo. You immediately ask for evidence. I'm being falsely accused. Of course I want to say something. My intuition is not wrong. If we investigate, we'll find evidence. You're cheating on your husband with a man you meet at work. You're worried because someone will expose it. That's not true. 
Do you want me to do something about the rumor? No, it's not true anyway. What? I'll really tell everyone. Are you okay with that? I'm not cheating. You're just making assumptions. And causing a commotion, right? Besides, I have no interest in the rumor. It doesn't matter to me. You're so boring. You're so disgusting, yet you're trying to play it cool. You're the worst. Don't you ever talk to me again. My reaction wasn't very interesting, so she continued to say bad things and ended the chat. The rumor that someone is cheating was spreading quickly. It seems that a photo of the scene of the affair is circulating within the park. I learned about it through a mom friend, but she told me never to talk to her again. Then I got a WhatsApp message from Ellie. <laughs> Looks like you're in trouble. They finally took a photo of you, huh? It's not me, it's someone else. Huh? Are you trying to push the blame onto someone else to protect yourself? Pathetic. Even if you do that, it's only a matter of time before you get caught. Maybe the person wants to do that. Yeah, right. You can't even admit it to yourself. Just admit it and get it over with. What are you talking about? It's finally turned into a big incident. The affair that's disrupting order in the park. It's all your fault, ain't it? That's not true. You really have no sense of situation, do you? Just admit it already. If it spreads any further, your child will be bullied. Why don't you admit to your affair? What? Why me? I haven't been cheating. How rude. You don't know? It's circulating within the park right now. It looks like a photo of your affair. What? What are you talking about? A mom friend in the group chat told me. I wasn't interested, but when I saw the photo that was sent, it certainly looked like you and a young man were getting along well. What are you talking about? I have no idea. Maybe it's a Photoshop picture. Where did you get such a photo anyway? It's from your social media. Huh, mine? It seems your account for your lover was exposed. It's publicly available. I hear you're posting about how much money you've made and what kind of relationships you've had there. I hear you're putting it all on the web. That's not true. Stop making baseless accusations. I don't know who found it, but you had your real name in selfies as your icon. So it's only natural that you got caught. Do you have any proof that it's me and that I have an account for my lover? And do you have any proof that the photo is not photoshopped? You're the one who's asking for proof. If you have any, show me. It's probably all nonsense anyway. Then I'll send you something that was sent from one of the mom friends. Five minutes later. What do you think? Why, why is something like this circulating? It's not right. Who's spreading this? I don't know who's spreading it, but at least you're admitting it's you. No, it's not. This is someone's prank. It's not me. Why don't you just admit it already? Even through the screen, I can tell you're panicking. You're the one who did this, right? Cancel it right now. I can't allow such a malicious prank. I didn't do it. By the way, Ellie, it seems someone spread a rumor that I'm cheating. What? I don't know anything about that. Will you withdraw that rumor? Since I wasn't cheating, if you don't withdraw it, I'll sue you for defamation. What do you mean withdraw it? If I do, it'll mean I admit to doing it. Whether you admit it or not, anyone can see that the woman in this photo is you. The clothes in the bag are the same as the ones you wore to the recent parent-teacher meeting, aren't they? That's why I'm saying it's not me. If you don't stop it, I'll sue you instead. Rather than making excuses to me, isn't it better to explain to your husband? Huh, what do you mean? Isn't there an incident at the park? Someone might have shown your picture to a teacher. And your husband may get contacted. What? No way. Oh, that's too much. You might get divorced and have to pay compensation. That's so troublesome. I'll have no money to play without my husband. I'll lose my living allowance. 
stop the people who saw the photos. Even if I, who works at night, speaks out, no one will listen, right? Besides, it seems like our relationship with these mom friends is just superficial. Just to protect me, no matter what. You're doing night work, so you understand if there's just one or two instances of cheating. It's impossible for me to defend you. After all, the person in the photo is you. You're useless. Do something. I feel like I'm being dragged into something troublesome, so I'm going to block you on WhatsApp. Oh. I'm saying that I don't want to be associated with weird rumors or falsely accused of crimes. Please do not contact me again. Wait a minute. Who do you think is responsible for all this? You're all my friend, so help me out. Who is the one that said they don't want to be friends with a dirty mom doing night work? Oh, we were never friends from the beginning, so I don't have any obligation to help you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Please, help me. You're the only one I can rely on. I'm sorry for everything that happened before. Let's be more friends and work together. I'm reflecting on my actions, so please help me. I'll also retract the rumors. It became unbearable for Ellie with the cheating incident, so she withdrew from the daycare center and it all ended. After that, Ellie divorced her husband and it seems that he is raising their child. Since then, I haven't had anything to do with Ellie. I'm about to finish paying off my debt and when that's done, I'll be able to play with my kids as much as I want.